Hey everyone, welcome back. Alright, I got a buggy build to show you today. I'm gonna say outright, this is not a normal build setup and is also probably not going to last long. On the other hand, it requires very, very little investment. As in, I am using a 0-4 McGrendel with no aura here and only one weapon on this entire loadout has mods. The weapon that has mods is also the only not bugged part of this that cannot be patched in the upcoming cert. Well, it has its own bugs, but there are very common bugs that tons of other weapons have. Basically, this is a bug fest showcase. You can replicate this probably until when the next cert drops. Why am I showing you this? Because it's stupid, effective, and fun. This is probably the most broken thing, as in buggy, I've ever tested, even compared to Varuna's Fangs of Raksh mechanics. Let's go over the normal parts of the showcase first. This is a Korufel. It is the gun scythe that came with Citrine. Well, it's not perfectly normal, but it's the least bugged part of the showcase. It has multiplicative condition overload scaling. This means you want base damage on the weapon as well as condition overload. Whether this comes from Arcane Fury or Prime Pressure Point, it doesn't really matter. Anyways, this is what the build I'm using looks like. Or, this is the normal Korufel Infinite 12 times build. Because of the bug we are using, it ignores the windup of heavy attacks. Also, the bug makes heavy attacks not be considered heavy attacks. This means you do not get the 12 times multiplier from combo as damage. You also cannot activate effects of mods that require heavy attacks. I can activate Dispatch Overdrive with a normal heavy shot of Korufel. I cannot activate it using the bug. Life Strike works on normal heavy shot, but it does not work with the bug. This means killing blow is useless because the bug ignores the heavy windup, and since it is not considered a heavy attack, I do not get the base damage bonus, so I dropped killing blow for healing return. The Korufel has infinite body punch throughout to 30 meters and has a wider hitbox than what is visible and can be rapid fired with the bug. Healing return lets me heal very quickly at roughly 200 to 400 health per second. Otherwise, we have standard corrosive and banes for raw damage. Blood rush stacks still apply. Amalgamorgan Shatter is still used because you need to shoot the Korofel one up at least once before setting up the bug, or when fixing issues with the bug. If you want a full proper breakdown on how to use Korofel as a normal weapon, which is pretty similar to this build, check out my video at the top right. It is a top tier melee currently due to the projectiles being able to build combo, even on heavy attacks. It is the only gunplay style or thrown projectile melee currently that can build more combo on heavy attacks than it uses. Next, let's look at the Encarnon Boltor Prime. Yes, that is what this first major bug is called by most people. If you try to alt-fire the Boltor Prime, specifically the Prime, it will holster bug and pull out your melee with no animation. It appears the Boltor family launched with early broken Encarnon mechanics. Each has its own variant of alt-fire bugs, but the Prime is the only one useful. Using a normal melee attack at this point will cue whatever your last melee action was, with no prior wind-up animation or lead-in. Because there is no delay, you could spam this melee attack forever. With some caveats, it can store any grounded melee attack, including heavy attacks or specific hits from mid-stance combos such as Baruch's final block combo hit that produces a vacuum. Because it has no animation wind up and immediately attacks, is best used with melee attacks that instantly deal damage at the start of their swing. Otherwise, you cannot melee again until the damage comes out since you will cancel the motion early. Korufel is the best choice for this, because it is ranged, can build combo on shots, shoots immediately at the start of its animation, and has multiplicative condition overload scaling. Everything you'd ever want. But you cannot move while shooting the Korufel like this. Another contender is Cost Assist, because the heavy attack waves force stealth multipliers and come out at the very start of the swing, so you can spam Cost Assist heavies and poop everywhere. Now, how about the actual Boltor Prime build? Well, you see, it is completely unmodded, but you can put Amalgam Serration if you want, I guess, for extra sprint speed. The Boltor bug can break. If you jump, go Operator, cast the two-handed ability, get downed, or fall off the map, you lose the queued melee action. You have to all fire on the Boltor Prime again to enable it. 
If you do any kind of melee swing, this will be saved as the new last final melee action and overwrite the Korofel shot, meaning you will have to fire the Korofel again to cue the shot as last melee action. This is where Grendel comes in. You guys have seen my quiver shenanigans lately with Sentinels. A much easier and commonly known method on Grendel is to just cloak arrow an enemy and eat them to become invisible. What's interesting is... this. Yes, you can use weapons while in Grendel's ball form. Casting Pulverize removes your weapon at the start of the cast, but it only tries to do this once. Quiver removes your weapons during its cast and returns them once it ends. If you cast Pulverize before Quiver's animation ends, there is no weapon for Pulverize to remove. Quiver then returns your weapon, allowing you to shoot while in ball form. This works perfectly with Cloak Arrow, because you can eat the enemy you shot to become invisible. This is the Grendel Quiver Bug. But the Grendel Quiver Bug works perfectly with the Incarnon Boltor Bug. When you use the Grendel Quiver Bug, you cannot shoot your Korofel while in ball form, even if you queued it up in advance with the Incarnon Boltor Bug. This is because you are in a bugged state that does not allow your Korofel to shoot when you first cast Pulverize. Casting Feast or Nourish fixes this and allows you to shoot Korofel again via the Incarnon Boltor Bug Allfire method. You just spam melee and shoot shots. Remember how I said if you accidentally swing your melee, you lose your Korofel shot cue for the bug? You cannot swing your melee when in ball form. The Grendel Quiver bug actually prevents the Incarnon Boltor bug from saving a new melee action. You can even shoot the Korofel in the air so long as you jump first, I'll fire Boltor in midair and then spam your melee button. For ball-related bugs, sometimes the Korofel will stop shooting but you can hear the charge up. Just stop spamming your melee and let the Korofel wind up and shoot. This happens when you spam jump shots and rapidly fire Korofel at the same time, but is difficult to replicate. Even rarer, your Korofel may actually fully bug out and stop shooting. This has something to do with wall grab parkour mechanics, because Pulverize actually has full parkour ability. If this happens, leave your ball, shoot Korofel, and restart the rotation. For my actual Grendel build, well, this is what I was using in the showcase. It's a zero forma build. Use whatever aura you want. I would recommend putting Modus Signal on so you can get more airtime on Grendel and make parkouring areas easier. I would also recommend putting Prime Shirt Footed because actually, yes, you can get knocked and staggered while in ball form. It's really weird. Run Pain Threshold if you don't have it. This isn't usually an issue in Pulverize, but because Korofel locks you in place when you shoot it, you are much more likely to get crowd controlled. Arcane Fury is just for bonus base damage on Korofel and is not mandatory, but is multiplicative to condition overload. And of course, Quiver over is 4, so that you can go invisible. Quiver lasts 37 seconds on this build, and going invisible also gives you Stealth Multiplier since Korofel is a melee, partially making up for the shots not benefiting from the 12 times Multiplier on Heavy Attack spam. Cheers! If this is your first time watching, feel free to leave a like or better yet subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. 79.5% of you are not subscribed. I'm trying my best to get you new information out always, as soon as possible like I've done with the Citrine's Last Wish update. Stick around if you want to see interesting memes and builds once Duviri comes out. Don't want to miss out on any of that, do you? That'll be it for this video. Thank you all for watching and see you all next time.